Hi, my name is Henry Morris III. I'm a Christian saved by the grace of God, first and foremost. You know, I grew up in North Virginia with a Christian mother and an unsaved father. I have one sibling, brother, and we both have a desire to succeed in life. You know, my father, when, when he drank, he was very abusive to my mother, and I have to say that the peace, peaceful time in my childhood was when he was at work because we knew that he was not drinking. So from that point, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to be a man of God that never abused his family, but embraced them with so much love that they cannot fathom it. Um, I made a commitment that if God blessed me with wonderful boys, that I was going to show them how men ought to treat their families. The Lord answered my prayers. And now I'm a husband to a wonderful, wonderful wife, Benita Morris, who have been my partner and soulmate for 22 years. And I have two adopted children, Sierra, who is 24, who lives in South Carolina, and Andrew White, who is 20, who lives in Mississippi. And I also have two biological children, Malik, age 16, who desires one day to be a chef. And Makai, age 12, who has desire to one day be a detective. And we also have a black cocker spaniel named Cleopatra. You know, the greatest reward I could ever have is having a family. You know, in 1993, I graduated from Norfolk State University where I received my bachelor's degree in graphic design and became a member during that time of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated because I had a desire to serve. And as I went on, I continued in my service in being an officer in the Salvation Army. And so in 1999, my wife and I answered the call to be officers in the Salvation Army, where we are now um, serving people now as a career. In 2001, my wife and I were commissioned with a degree in theology and became captains in the Salvation Army. We started our ministry by being core officers, which is pastors, in Decatur, Georgia. And we served there in Atlanta Peach Press Corps for nine years. And they, I have to say they were nine wonderful years. Following that appointment, God then moved us to Baltimore, Maryland, where we became divisional youth secretaries for the state of Maryland and Mississippi, Maryland and, and West Virginia. Excuse me. In this appointment, we were blessed to be in charge of ministering the youth to youth of 25 corps which is churches, and that appointment, my wife and I had the privilege of seeing young people come to Christ through, through the ministry that God has given us. While pursuing my master's degree in, in June of 2014, my wife and I were then called to continue our officership in Madison, Mississippi, where we have the privilege of continuing in the youth ministry of serving now from two states to now three states, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi in the Salvation Army, where we are now graciously serving now 33 core, which is churches. You know, I have to say that in the beginning, I asked God to grant me a profession that I, that I would not dread to go to the office day in and day out, and he blessed me with that. My desire has always been people. I love working with people and serving people, and I would not change the opportunity for the world. Now, if you ask me what is my most rewarding thing that I enjoy, I will have to tell you that I enjoy seeing lives change each and every day, and I think I get honored seeing them, their lives change over and over again. As I think about this upcoming course, I am looking forward to the knowledge that I have gained as I continue to strengthen my leadership. You know, I, I'm, I enroll in this program because as a leader, I have always felt that there is more that I can learn as I look to enhance my leadership skills. Leading people has always been my aim, but I realized that in order to, for me to be able to teach others how to lead effectively, I have to make sure that I am modeling the character in my life. My role right now as a youth leader and I felt compelled to pursue my master's in organizational leadership so that I can be a well-rounded individual who wants to have the tools necessary to mirror what it takes to be a leader in the area of my life to the young people who is searching for the characters in their lives. 
My hobbies are fishing, golfing, and I am an outstanding cook, if I do say so myself. Thank you, and God bless.